when I joined, I, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. The thing is, guy. friends welcome back again it's your girl laura i'm a kenyan youtuber i'm best in nakuru thank you so much for considering watching my videos again i don't take that for granted yeah and today guys i have a very mind-blowing topic to discuss about guys so uh, but before that guys i feel like i should show you my outfit i feel so cute guys today i feel like literally so cute and i'm about to show you my outfit um in case you don't know i shoot on my bed i take two pillows from my couch i place them here i sit on them and then i film yeah. and you don't you guys don't want to know where i place my phone because you laugh honestly you laugh at me so i'm not going to tell you that but i want to show you my outfit uh this is a jumpsuit i bought it at think twice if you are in nakuru and uh you don't know that we already have think twice in nakuru we have two think twice stores in nakuru one um is located just near where i stay so once in a while while i'm taking uh evening strolls i pass by to just check in on whether i can find something good for me and in case i afford if i afford it i buy it <laughs> so this jumpsuit um i bought it at 200 kenyan shilling guys 200 kenyan shillings that's two dollars only <laughs> you won't believe when i stand up like i feel like it's really um, worth the price okay maybe worth more than that yeah it's a cute uh black jumpsuit okay i'm saying unnecessary or obvious thing so let me just stand up so you guys can see for yourself so i'm going to stand on my bed <laughs> yeah so guys this is the jumpsuit i've i've, I've put on this uh, little belt this slim belt on it and this is how i really actually i really love the back i really love this this you know that that can be shaped back and the way it's low i just really love it and then here it's hip stylish like it's hip stylish and then it's three quarter so it gives room for my african whatever see and my cute sandals i really love it i hope you guys i, I just hope it makes sense <laughs> So guys, today I'm going to be talking about a very sensitive topic. And I don't know, but I really feel like I should talk about it. So I'm just going to talk about it fearlessly. Also guys, I put on my one and only chain, but they only have this chain. No, I actually have another African chain, which is so tricky to put it on like it really chooses what you put on with it you know and then this watch this watch i was bought for by my a friend who is very close to my heart mm, the person is in question is not even my best friend but I, really close to my heart so i love this watch it's not an expensive watch but it's cute and i love it also i'm not putting on a bra and that is i'm i'm quoting that because that is one of the things i'm going to be talking about today guys so i just want you to have a close look at my at my i keep my 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 underarms are so dark you guys give me a remedy surely yeah, so I'm not putting on a bra actually. I know this is gonna be weird, but yeah. And um, I've just put on a little tape on my boobie 
like little tapes and they're not even boob tapes like original original boob tapes these are normal tape i just put so that my nipples cannot just pop out in the video because for me i i always feel like uh i don't take any offense when people put on clothes without bras but i feel like nipples are the most like the most new dish part of a boob and all these th all these other things me i find them very normal according to my opinion guys so um, today guys as the title suggests i'm going to be talking about my body insecurities i just want to tell you that first of all i overcame all these insecurities i'm going to talk about today it was uh, let me not say it was hard because i didn't even realize when i overcame them i just noticed in, in fact few months ago i just noticed that wow i've accepted myself the way i am i love myself i am i just take myself as the best thing that could ever happen to my mom to my siblings to my relatives friends and everybody else who gets to associate with me and um um yeah so i feel like let's just talk about this a little bit also guys i have a meeting today not really a serious meeting but it's a very late evening meeting of which i really don't love such meetings i've just finished writing five blogs i woke up at five in the morning i prepared i cleaned myself not the club the house the house is still dirty what i normally do is that i clean in the evenings when i've finished working at around um, i finish working at around six or seven latest and then i'll take maybe a stroll while i go to maybe buy dinner or something and then uh, when i come back it's maybe 7 30 then i cook and do everything and then i clean by nine okay let me say the truth by 10 i'm always done with cleaning eating and preparing for bed but then from 10 to around maybe one i watch movies the day i've chosen not to work at night yeah so that's that that's just my little schedule i'm just out of the topic but yo in this channel we talk about everything concerning laura <laughs> So we are gonna talk anything concerning me i don't know if this thing bothers you but i have an allergy i have an allergy i have an allergy so i keep on being you know it can be bothering i understand so i'll try my best not to i have a cold i have so many allergies i'll also be talking about that today so where was i oh i was complaining that i have a meeting in the evening i really love to talk should be just my hobby <laughs> yeah so the truth is that i have a meeting at 4 35 i'm saying that because you you all know we are africans okay i'm not branding africans i'm not labeling africans because i'm Af an africa i'm just saying that on a very light note yeah so guys after all these dramas i'm doing right now i'm going to finally like finally like finally <laughs> i'm going to finally go into this video and talk business talk i'm gonna talk business right now so guys um all jokes aside let's just face the truth so number one of my major, let me start with the major body insecurities I've faced since childhood. Not really since, yeah, actually since childhood because at 12, 13, someone is a child basically. So guys, um, <laughs> one of my, I, I really don't know how to even start this. One of my insecurities, guys, has always been my boobs. My boobies have always been my insecurities. Some of you might be wondering, when is boobies is she talking about? These are the boobies I'm talking about. So, uh, what exactly it is here, guys, is that um, when I was around, when I was actually 
immediately after I finished my class 8, or maybe when I was in class 8, let me say when I finished class 8, I actually started my periods, like my monthly periods when I was in class 8. In fact, the day we were doing a KCPE exams, that's the day I started my periods. I even remember that I had to be stopped at some point, be taken, uh, taught how to wear pads and all those although i knew how to my sister had already had already done that uh taught me but yeah so they had to sort everything out so my point is when i finished my class eight i just noticed a very sudden change in my body size and like everything in my body just grew so big guys i was only i was 12 i was 12 or 13 i don't know I was only, uh, I, I don't think some girls at 12 years, they were just like, they were flat, you know. My boobies just came out so, so like, so nini, like, so light. They just came out. And since then, I've been having this, like, this boobies, this, this type of boobies. Like, th my boobies have never been like those two boobies I see in people, like, to small like very very straight like <laughs> girls know what i mean like you know as girls there are people who have like very succulent is succulent they, they i don't know honestly i've never touched anyone's boobs but there are people who have this like even when you just see it you know that those boobs are like so firm like extremely firm boobs and very small and the nipples are just like teeth like <laughs> they're just pointed i have never had such boobs or may i say as far as i can remember starting to realize myself all through high school i've been having this kind of boobs i saw people just putting on this they were called boob tops me i needed to put on a bra when i was in high school even at form one so this has been my insecurities all through guys like all through it has been my insecurities i've always wanted my boobs to be like small pointed you know like i just want my boobs i don't know how okay and um, my boobs are not like that it's just I don't know how to put it guys but like recently I've just come to love my boobs like I just love them so much I feel like they're just the best size and in the best shape anyone could ever have guys the thing is I had a boob insecurity and right now I'm okay and fine and I thank God for that I really love my boobs right now like if I can afford I could never like put on a top like this without I would even rather put on silicone bra than like just put on like this and go I don't know but yeah right now I'm fine so guys the second thing I want to talk about is stretch marks You guys, I have stretch marks. I have stretch stretch marks um on my thighs, on my thighs. Yeah, I have stretch marks on my thighs, and this really used to bother me a lot because I can't remember when I started having stretch marks. No, I think also in high school. Okay, the thing is, I used to be this not so big girl, and then after class eight, I just became big and fat and even in high school, if you ask my high school mates, they'll tell you guys, I've always been this cub, very pumpish, little, just flabbish, I don't know, girl. <laughs> I'm just this cashot, plumpy girl kind of a thing, you know. So when I joined, I, I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> okay. The thing is, guy, at one point, I was once so big, and at some point, I was so, yeah, one thing that made me become insecure about these stretch marks, guys, 
is that at when we were in um, okay one of my friends one day commented on my stretch marks and told me but you know people who have stretch marks are those people who gave birth you know they have babies now they have stretch marks at that point i was not so educated i was not I was just I, I was not an airline so I I just went with that so that thing was always in my mind that now me I don't have a baby but I have stretch marks so what next why did God just choose me to put stretch marks on me yet I don't have a kid like uh, how will it be how will it be and I was still a kid I was not even I I don't think I was even 18 when I had stretch marks in my gym I was not can you imagine it was so bad so i used to be so insecure i couldn't even put on like okay let me not lie me i'm just a this booty short kind of a girl i used to put booty shorts booty shorts on but i just used to put on because i loved but i was insecure still about my stretch marks but right now i don't even give a hoot like i i don't like i love my body i you guys have you ever just met someone who just loves herself like it, i just love I, I i have this kind of love for myself right now that i don't even understand myself i feel like i'm even being selfish on other people I'm, i just extremely love myself like so much but it's good it's a good thing actually i had missed this for a good period of time the third thing i'm going to talk about <coughs> is my butt the size of my butt has always been a problem guys i'm not even mocking someone i'm not even doing uh i'm not even joking this on a very serious note i am um, this kind of a person who I don't really love like big butt. Okay, I'm not saying that I have that big, big, big butt. But um, this kind of a person who just love like a certain size of a butt. I just, guys, today I'm talking about stupid. Like this, but I know this not stupid, but it really sounds stupid. <laughs> and I'm, it sounds unserious too, but yeah. I just love this kind of a butt, not too small and not too big, like, like not big. I just love a medium. But I've always had issues with my butt. My butt, I have a big butt, basically. I have a big butt. I know that for sure. So this has, I don't like a big butt. I love a medium butt. But right now, I've accepted it. I love my, my butt just the way it is. Yeah, I'm comfortable in it right now. Yeah. Another thing I want to talk about, and this one, guys, has really disturbed me. I've not healed from it, like, completely, completely. And this is my skin. Guys, I have a skin, like, I have a skin issue. Like, I don't want to say it's a skin disease. It's a, a skin issue. Like I have these two spots on my skin. The kind of spots I'm talking about. This this ex excludes my face because actually I never used to have this acne. Okay, this skin skin thing excludes my face because my face um. Actually, I used to have a very smooth face I, until last year, late last year, but one, when I had a mix of emotions and hormones and so on, and then my face now uh, started experiencing acne, but um, my body is just a special case, and this is not like the whole body, it's just my hands and my legs, can you imagine, like, just my hands and my legs especially my legs like my legs are just like a special special case guys but yeah that has been my problem until juicy i've just learned to love myself the way i am and um just eating 
a lot of fruits i'm drinking a lot of water like my mom advised me so that because uh this i think this is genetic because my mom suffers from the same thing so she advises me to just drink water eat a lot a lot of fruits and just feel comfortable also when i'm stressed up that happens when i'm under the weather it happens when i shower with cold water it happens when the weather is just cold it happens so i just take extra care of myself and all becomes just well so guys uh, those are a few okay not a few all actually all of my insecurities have ever the insecurities i've ever faced on my body and i just thought i should just come here and share with you guys because you are now my family and i feel like anything about my life that i feel like i should tell you i'll always tell you at the right time without any pressure like right now i've just said this from the bottom of my heart and i feel like when i share someone might maybe change their mind about how they think about themselves also another thing i've i've learned guys is that if you are, you think that you're just not like always think of yourself as worth everything good just love yourself guys if you love yourself just love just no one will ever love you if you've never tried to just love yourself please just love yourself every other good thing that you want anyone to do for you start by doing it for yourself for yourself first guys just just can you can you just put yourself in front of everything can it just because even the work you are doing without like taking care of yourself you cannot do that work just please just love yourself that's the least you can do also guys take good care of your body just love your body smell nice invest in good perfumes invest in good body oils invest in good anything that will make your health your body health just improve just just please just take your time take a few of your resources invest in them buy yourself good things especially on your skin leave alone clothes and so on just buy yourself good body oil moisturize your body love your body even though <laughs> just try still try as long as you're doing the right thing continue doing the right thing just know that our face must be moisturized our face must be washed with good healthy maybe natural soap according to your preference your body must be well moisturized you must take your good time in the shower to just you must smell nice guys you must smell nice you must brush your teeth with the best colgate you know with good toothbrushes change your toothbrushes just love yourself you'll just feel some kind of way that i don't know just love to especially smell just love to smell good love you know when you love to smell good you'll have to love to take care of your body so well and you know yeah so guys that's all i had for today and until next time bye and i love you